This year, DDA marked our 60th anniversary. In 2012 to 2013, we sold two properties, launched StarNet, the association's very own intranet, we hosted annual employee recognition events, and received another three-year accreditation from CARF. Our infant development program had contact with 900 families. 333 were referred and 171 infants aged out of our services. DDA's infant development program provides consultation to children identified with delays in gross motor development. In addition to our infant development professionals, we also contract with five private pediatric physiotherapists who provided 949 visits last year. We continue to provide services in excess of our contracted number of infants, we partner with UBC to determine best practices, and we exceed family expectations, all while receiving less funding than any other infant development program in the province. In our Child and Youth Services, we completed classroom renovations during the summer of 2012 with funding from UBC. This increased our capacity to 96 spaces, which makes Berwick the largest preschool in Vancouver. Committed to focusing on growth while nurturing current partnerships and developing new ones, our Child and Youth Services Department hosted DDA's first annual Family and Friends Outdoor Movie Night at Nat Bailey Stadium in July to great reviews. Our residential service department consists of 21 homes in Vancouver and Richmond with 24 hours a day, seven days a week care offered by professionally trained staff who worked 60,000 shifts last year. The primary goal of residential services is to enable individuals with disabilities to achieve goals, be healthy, safe, and included in their communities. Residential group homes continue to adopt technology to support the independence of adults with developmental disabilities. In-home technology systems provide opportunities for learning and igniting the interest of staff and the individuals we support. In our Vocational and Community Services Department, Jobs West generated 24 work experience placements that led to 14 paid jobs. They also managed 30 volunteer placements for those not ready for employment and selected Save On Meets as their Employer of the Year for Save On's commitment to hiring people with disabilities and other challenges. Our art program expanded with over 60 artists participating in two very successful art shows held in 2012. Many artists sold their art and received 100% of the proceeds. These activities increase community exposure and send positive messages about individuals with disabilities to the public. Our Quality Assurance Department ensured that DDA received our fourth three-year accreditation from CARF in 10 years. CARF recognized DDA for quality and innovation in creating person-centered services that achieve meaningful results for individuals and families. We received an exemplary commendation for continuing to seek the most creative ways to support individual persons served and our efforts to provide opportunities to develop skills and behaviors that enhance their way of life. Our leadership and staff members were recognized for outstanding efforts made in achieving accreditation. Alchemist, DDA's planning and costing tool, attracted international attention this year. Alchemist is an internet-based application which allows users to view, create, and share information online. Its advantages include a reduction in the use of paper, the ability to share information in real time, and a focus on targeting funds to meaningful outcomes as defined by the individual and his or her personal support network. Our recycling program is strong and continues to yield improved donation bin results, even as for-profit operations continue to be a concern for our business. To address these for-profit bin operators posing as charities, we have launched a new marketing strategy placing 100% non-profit owned and operated seals on all DDA bins. We now have 300 active clothing donation bins, 10 book bins, 
and over 30 bottle bins in 18 communities. In our finance department, while handling the department's regular duties this year, the staff also designed several reports for accounting that allowed the electronic transfer of payroll data to the general ledger and created various documents in a paperless, electronic PDF format that allows paperless storage and easy reprinting of individual pages. Our communications department is responsible for all internal and external communications at DDA, including media relations, events, award submissions, and brand development. This year, communications expanded communication channels through StarNet to all staff. Since its launch in April 2012, visits have been steadily growing and we were able to create a paperless secure system to communicate to our board through StarNet. We also explored new social media avenues such as Pinterest and developed a new site as an extension of our blog, specifically created for apps reviews, which was launched at our Building Connectivity Conference. Efforts also continued as we broadened our brand profile with award submissions. Our public service announcement was once again recognized with the Hermes Platinum Award, which rewarded select international creative professionals involved in the concept, writing, and design of traditional materials and programs, including emerging technologies. A change in leadership in 2012 presented an opportunity to take a fresh look at our human resource practices and systems with a focus on creating efficient processes and quicker access to human resource services for managers and staff. DDA's contract with the BC Government Employees Union was renegotiated through the Community Social Service Employers Association, which resulted in modest improvements in wages and conditions of employment by the end of the fiscal year.